How you doing everybody? Hope this finds you well. I don't know how well this is going to record. Sitting on my back porch. Um, this is going to be a video. Part 2. Frack it all. Little puppy. Now part 2 of Frack it all. Now uh, you need to look below. And the more info section below will be all sorts of links and stuff to go to which will explain it better my videos are rough I just play with my paint program I'm not a professional uh, I just use this medium to show you and demonstrate without having to use some copyrighted material uh, I try my, I'll try to explain to you uh, about fracking first I want to say that it's, uh, our water supply is a very important thing Fresh water is life, and we all need it. Uh, and um, the oil field uses extremely large amounts of water in their process. They have uh, they use it for their drilling mud. In the drilling mud, they mix it with chemicals to stabilize the wall of the hole, and then they in the fracking process itself a lot of that is water a lot of that can't be recovered because of the chemicals put in it so uh, that's one of the issues that really bothers me more than all these others because some of these you know if done properly this can be it can be done done safely but uh, and don't don't be upset with people that work in the oil industry Here's the train. What's that running on? It's carrying goods for your markets. Those semi trucks going down the road carrying the food for your stores, clothing for your stores, the gas you put in your car, the propane you heat your houses if you live in the country, the fuel to heat your home, cooking with gas. All these things require that industry, and it's a very complex industry, from the drilling to your door, to your little tap, and it uh, takes in a lot of area. And we're only concentrating here on the fracking aspects of this. I hope you enjoy it. Remember, it's a cheesy 3D. Once upon a time, there was this wildcat driller. He managed to get a few people to invest on drilling a well. He thought they knew where some oil was. Well, he got a glimpse at a, an old seismograph chart of the area. And he saw about a mile and a half down, there was this bulge of sandstone underneath a capstone. And he just knew there was oil there. Well, he found out by drilling, drilling that well. He risked about a million and a half of his investors' money. And the well came through. Turns out it was one of the biggest wells in this part of the country and it's still producing today. Now, uh, that's uh, where the oil comes from, deep underground, in these pools of uh, permeable rock that are trapped beneath this capstone of shell. Well, eventually that well did run dry but they decided to come back and frack it and that's what they're going to do they already started oh. okay and what's it rain got to do with this 
Well, I just needed to kind of show you what happens to the water that gets on the ground. See, after a rain or snow or melt off, the water soaks into the ground. And what doesn't run off or is ate up by the vegetation seeps deeper down through the porous rocks until it gets to a, a hard layer that traps the water. Sometimes when it does this, it forms uh, channels and underground streams and rivers by cleaning out all softer channels in the ground. Now these uh, underground reservoirs, uh, usually the water carries minerals which are deposited upon the surface of the caves. Yeah. That's where old mine wells used to go but uh, the water is often not that good. You want the good water usually go down about 200 feet to the sandstone most places and down here the water's in the sandstone like a sponge and uh, it, sandstone acts as a natural filter it'll trap all these chemicals and particles and that's what gives your water its flavor is these little minerals okay now when they drill through the water level they this is how they say they do it they make a double wall of concrete and iron steel well, this is really this is more like goes like this actually uh, I suggest you go and read the contents of the packet of cement. Now, uh, you get down in there, sometimes you run into a cave or a void in the rocks. Well, that, that pressure suddenly tells them, the weight on the bit suddenly tells them they hit this. Well, they, they lose circulation, so. What they do is they pour all these things like cottonseed holes and this gel stuff to make a pile in there and then they'll run some more concrete through that you know so so it'll trap it there so it doesn't any leaks won't get out into the cave system or whatever and they'll drill down through that concrete to keep circulation and keep on going that's how they go through the voids the caves and they'll run a special casing through there as well more cement around it now one of the big problems about that is uh, if it's not done properly and if it's something happens you get a crack in that concrete somewhere in that pipe or something and that stuff will seep out around that now in the fracking process itself this is one of the concerns people have which uh, they argue won't isn't really the problem because it's so deep down in the ground they say pour all these fluids and stuff and it's so deep down in the ground that it, it won't affect you it's more than a mile down your water's like 200 feet down so it won't get up there it's, there's too many layers of a shell between it and all that you know but the, there's cracks in rocks and fractures and natural fractures that occur we don't see and over time some of that stuff can be squeezed up through little unseen cracks and fractures after all the water gets down there too you know and uh, it bubbles up into the water supply that's the biggest concern now this is what they suspect going on in Ohio and maybe Oklahoma right now is that they they mess with some uh, unseen fault line now here's a typical fracking zone that's a typical fracking zone. You know, it wouldn't be so bad if it was like one here and there, but that's a uh, one four mile square area uh, in a larger area. So, uh, tell me that one of those wells, it only takes one of them to pollute the water. Okay, all that fracking going on in a small area like that. There's bound to be a problem eventually show up somewhere. And where they're doing it is troubling too to me. You know, that, that water going down them rivers and that streams in that area. You head towards Oklahoma City.
you know, and there's a large population area down that way that require the water from those rivers and lakes that from, come from those rivers. Most city water actually comes out of rivers. So uh, any of that stuff leaches up into the river system. See, this video only showed three of the problems, and I, I've discussed it a couple more. Discussed a couple more with you now. Now I'm not no environmental activist. I'm a concerned person who loves the environment, who lives off of the environment. We all do. We need to take better care of it. Bird's sake. For the tree's sake. For the animals. For us. We all need it. Peace, love, and understanding, everyone. Have a good day.